your full 10. And uh, just for the people that may start watching, who are your you know, your picks for people that you expect to be near the top from your league? Uh, yeah, my 10, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll run down who's, who's wearing the championship. Uh, Rewind needs seven points to win his championship over Schumacher, so them two were kind of, they were, they were definites. Stewie's a late comer, he's very quick. KS outgoing, Ginger Ninja Max uh, and Jemin, all very quick in my eyes. Uh, Bezart and Jota, two very quick GP2 drivers that are moving up next season. And is that everyone that I've got? I think so, yes. So, yeah, would you... Uh, yeah, I've got them all. So would you run down your 7 for my guys, I'm pleased. Yeah, sure. so basically uh, we've got a Clone Troop 2512 and a Rooney 2003 at the moment who are up with the championship with myself, funnily enough. But um, all three of us at the moment, we've just, we're have just we a bit late behind you guys who have started your league. So we've, we've just finished Monaco, actually. So uh, at the moment, it's very close at the moment. We've got a four-way battle at the front, but unfortunately one of our drivers hasn't made it. But uh, Rooney, Clone Troop are definitely two to look out for. We've also got uh, ESR Zelchi in there, who hasn't actually... Um, he's part of the league, but he's not started yet because he's waiting for his AOR season to finish. But um, he said he's confirmed that he's going to be starting as soon as... Uh, his league has finished in AOR. He's been racing with uh, other seasons of the league. But he's just not been in this season. Uh, Darlow, 7105, definitely one I think could be a, an outsider who could, uh, you know, surprise a few people. And it's the same with, same with all of them, really. I, I really think all of them have got a good chance of points here. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, just so everybody knows, we are running normal points. Like I say, me and Matty have been friends for a very long time through other leagues so we just thought we'd keep it friendly between the two leagues N nothing major as long as it's a clean and fair between the two we don't really mind so and looking forward to it i think jot is first to set a lap time if you want to start on him yeah. or your guys see what he does and we've got another one you yeah, you've got another one of your uh, renault drivers yeah. just behind him that there is i think i need to write this down who's in what team <laughs> got best to slammy uh, so he was behind him there. I think they've both gone out on the super soft. So I did spot someone, I think it was Schumacher, who's gone out on the soft. So it is indeed, he has gone out on the softs in the Ferrari. There's, a, there's but, only uh, three cars just, on the softs, isn't there? Two of your guys, one of mine. Schumacher's very good when it comes to strategy, so I've got a lot of faith in him. He, might, he may be quite low, yeah. low, low on the grid, but he, uh, he will perform later on in the race. Do it when it matters, exactly, yeah. See if we'll get on board with. We'll go on board. Oh, Betas Islami stuck it straight into the wall. Coming out of the second Lesmo, just seemed to have lost the car there on the left-hand side. That was a that was an interesting one, but that's unfortunate for Betas Islami. He will be starting from the back. Oh, there's a Red Bull behind him there. Just almost follows him in there. It's one of them one tracks that you either get that it right or get it wrong. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's a great track for overtaking, but it's one that, you know, if you can't which, find which a consistent we, level, you're going to struggle. That's why we picked it for, for this race. As we've had to, you know, we've, we've had these people saying, oh, you know, we want to do Malaysia, we want to do Britain, but we thought, you know what, we, we're going to pick a track that, we'll you know, it's it going to surprise a few cans. people, make them oh, have to do a bit of practice. Yeah. Well, that's not... Not so bad. It Close was to provisional pole with uh, Rooney just going in front of him there by just short of a tenth of a second. Yeah, very, very good lap by everybody. Schumacher, she's in the 122s with uh, soft tyres. That's not bad for him. It's not bad at all, is it, really? I think he's probably got about eight tenths to a second as a McLaren's gone off in the background there. That's BPR Im struggling at, at the moment. I'll stick, uh, we've on, got, uh, uh, stick on my fastest car. Jemini has just gone into P2. It's a, look at the top Gemin. four there, a tenth Gemin, of a yeah. second. It's, it's absolute crack. Jemini, I do apologise. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's two apiece as well, so it's going to be a close race. It's very close. Stewie at the top there. I'm on board with Trex Electrics now. He's coming around Parabolica now. Stewie's on. So he's on a pretty decent lap. Really well. I'm going to see him as he comes across the line. He does a 21.5, moves him up into fifth place. That's a very good lap from him. Go down to the people that haven't quite set a lap yet. But Beep Out Imp, as I said, went off in that lap. Outgoing, then a bit of a train here. He probably needs a bit of more space. Not on the soft tyres, but the 
car in front's gone into the pits. So that gives him a clear run. Oh, someone off the yellow, sec uh, yellow flag in the final sector. We've got a Ferrari going slow there. Seems to have been cleared. Uh, Jim just sticking on a Stewie at the minute. Um, I've just gone onto him as well. I've spotted he's on a lap. Yeah, he's, um, he's my fastest driver. But unfortunately, <laughs> does not favour Italy. So yeah. I've got a lot of the same issues in our league as well. But same issues. there's challenging people, so... Exactly. To take them out of their comfort zone, you know, make them work for their wins. We're already well to get out of the way there. And it'll be interested to see what Stewie manages here. The high one, the low 120s ones, weren't it? 21-6. Okay, he's into seventh. Clone Troops somehow popped in between and got the exact same time as Ginger Ninja Max, but a 21-252. There's that going and uh, on the soft tyres. BP uh, on Imp. the soft tyres. That is an unbelievable lap from Clone Troop. Imp and Chaos are going around the last place. corner to uh, set their lap times. Yep, I've gone on board with on board with Imp first. This is goes. the line. Must have been validated. But Thirty-five. Chaos. Yeah, must have validated it. And you just misses out on the one twenty ones on the soft tyre then. On the soft tyres as well. A lot of people now coming into the pits after their first runs. I think Imp's going to be another one that we're still going to have to watch on this lap. I don't know if he'll continue on and do another one. Let's see what his first sector's like. He is going faster. Oh, he's locked up hugely. He's kept it on well. Oh, he's lost the car. That's unfortunate for Imp. He's just lost it on the kerbs there. Who was that, sorry? That was Imp just in the uh, second sector there. Just lost it. Uh, oh, he's sliding everywhere. Struggling for traction after might not be happy with his setup there. there. No, it was uh, oh, and he's now lost it. He's done the exact same as Better to Slammy, and uh, unfortunately didn't hit it as hard and has got away with it really. As I said, is rewind on a lap at the moment? Is he just coming in? I think he's on I a lap. I think he's on a lap. It looks like he's going quite fast, so I presume so. Yes. Oh yeah, I don't think he is. He's in lean fuel mixture at the moment. I think it's just going to be an in lap dump for now. Outgoing's well, just coming to the pits as well. Yeah. Uh, nice to see if anybody well, we'll be beats uh, that 121 one from your guy there. I do think that we will get into the 20s. Uh, have you got any predictions for Paul? What do you think the time will be? Uh, mate. I'd be happy if I got in the 121s, let alone in the 120s. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be honest there, I'm not the quickest, but that's why. Well, it's not why I'm not racing, but I had a race to do it if I, had, if I had to. But, you know. I think with um, Clone Treat managing that time on the soft tyres, that there's going to be a very. I, I think a mid 20 could be possible. If people get their laps together, I'm going to go on board with uh, JXJF1 Vettel here, who's just started his lap. We're watching now into turn one, heavy braking zone, second gear. Hasn't got a lot of fuel in the car, he's probably just planned this out for one run because he won't have time to go back into the pits. Even as tight a, as a line as possible through the long right hander. Catching the grass there as well. Finishes the first sector, obviously. He's Oh, he's just oh, he the lost the gravel. Might be able to carry on, but that is going to affect his time. I think he's going to back out of it, isn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah, he has, yeah. He's, he's going to have to back out of it now. Yeah. I think he's got... Uh, who else is on a fast lap? Two cars now. I think the, uh, Jota, the Silver corner. Surfer and Mullen are on fast laps as well. So I'm going to go on board with uh, the, the, the uh, lowest... Well, the following Jota at the moment, just very, very clean at the moment through that uh, second chicane there, he's just a, after the first sector. He's, very, he's a very quick driver. He's pushing, he, he was pushing me for the GP2 Championship, so he's, he's been moved up for next season. He's very, very consistent driver, shall we say. One of them that yeah. put in a he shift. He just took a lot of fuel into the car, interestingly. 
Three and a half laps. Uh, so he might do presuming maybe laps. he's going for a second run. Now we're going to see if anyone else is finishing a lap quickly. We've got Trex coming around the final corner. I think he's on a lap. Mullins I think he is the closest one to a finish. Well, Mullins just crossing the line now. And he improves. Oh, yeah. He improves. 122 Gets closer to the pack. So watch Silver Surfer now coming around the final corner. On the soft tyres, interestingly, thinks he can improve on his 22 in the softs. And I think he will. It's 21 did. 9, he does manage it. Rooney's on a lap. Be to be do yeah. that on your second run. Good. I think it's going to be interesting to watch this. So we're going to watch Clone Troop now as he's just gone through the first couple of corners. We're going to see what he manages for his first sector. Does he improve? Not sure because it hasn't come up. So it's nothing. It seems like he's on a quick one. Keeping it in max fuel mix, so he must be going on a lap. I don't know what's going on Ooh, with the timings there. Yeah, lag between Trex and Electrix there. Balanced a little bit. Let's keep an eye on that one, and if we do yeah. see it getting bad, we'll have to see if we can mesh him. As we're going to watch Rooney. Rooney's not started a lap yet. So, oh, uh, who's Ginger Ninja Max has gone. Uh, not oh, sure what happened, wall. he was in P4 and he's done the exact same as what uh, Besat Islami's done earlier in the session and has just lost it f off the uh, right hander, I think he's tried to correct the car and it's just ploughed into the left hand side wall, hopefully his car ghosts people are trying to keep as far away from that as possible I'm going to watch Clone Trooper yeah. across the line now, see if he improves on his time, it looks like he's going to 20.6 but I think it was invalidated. It was invalidated. Yeah, it's not yeah. changed. Uh, Mullen's gone up to nine. Through one twenty-one six. But Stewie goes fast. Stewie the one twenties. There we go. Out of twenty point nine. The bike there. Expected to see twenty point nines, and he's definitely delivered now. When he's needed to the most, I'll be interested. I don't think he'll go on another lap. He might. He's got the fuel to do it. Yeah, we've got Rooney, German are on flyers at the minute. I don't think Imp's going to set up. Germany's going to be the closest one. to... Oh, rewind, rewind goes, goes fast. Oh, go on, son. That's right. a great lap. This is a 120.833 one, one on the fastest lap, but on the timing screen, it's a 128.34. 34, right, four, I know. Yeah. It's, All right, it's then. the game, it's so typical. Let's see what uh, Gemini Gemini does. over the line here. He crosses the line. I think he'll go faster. 21.1, oh, so he, he's validated, validated it, yeah. Rooney crosses the line, goes fastest, 124. There we go. 20.4. Clone troops also four tenths up through the middle sector, so this should be an improvement. This could stick in P2 if he manages to nail the last couple of corners. It's looked very few clean guys, so far. A few guys still trying to improve. PSI going, completely lost it. He's out. Trex Alexis just jumped into P6 there with a 21 2. Clone troop crosses the line, and it's P2, 20.8, three thousandths ahead of Rewind. Got to, got to Jota across, across the, the line out. Got Williams in front of him. Not on a lap Stewie there, unfortunately. Faster. Jota, Silver Surfer, Silver Ghosted, Surfer, who's so. ghosted. Yeah, and and he's I think the last that's one. it then. So it's just Mullen to retire. Oh, yeah, as we've just, what was that? He <laughs> probably ended up in a wall of the Force mm. India. That's uh, very interesting. <laughs> Just showing the game and its amazing concepts. Yeah, this game's not been the greatest, has it, for um, for its bugs and glitches and uh, things yeah. like that. Yeah, it's just like it's it's a bit silly. It's like after the checker flag and all that, and the cars are just colliding together. I mean, it's not not exactly good representation for the for the racing, for is the, it? The first, it's this the game. The game uh, has a lot of problems. Uh, hopefully it's sorted for the next one. I think it's a bit too late for it to be sorted on this one. But No, I, I totally agree. I think that uh, with 2017's game, they sort of concentrated more on the career mode and trying to get that sorted mm. and not realising that with eSports coming through, there's going to be a lot more people playing the online aspect of the game and it's just it's not maybe been they improved. To, maybe they need to change their... Um, their um, Servers, sorry, I've, I've been up since five. I'm knackered. <laughs> still tired. tired now. I've still, there I've, we go. I've got our GP2 race tired. after as well, so it's a bit boosh. Yeah, and there we are. There's the final results. Rune 2003 with an amazing lap there of a 20.4. Four tenths cracking. quicker than four tenths quicker than anyone else. You've got Clone Troop in second place. 
Rewind P3, only three thousandths down. Just looking at the second to fifth there, only a tenth between them. So we've got V Stewie in P4, Yasar Zelchi P5, Jameen P6, Trex P7, Ginger Ninja Max P8, Jota P9, and ITFN I Milan in tenth. Obviously, there are the rest, but the timer has gone. This I'm expecting to be a pretty simple one stop, hopefully, with no collisions. Are we having a five minute break between or are we just, just going I'm hoping away? so that no one, I'm hoping that we do have a five minute break. I'm hoping that no one readies up. We'll obviously my, be the first person to know if someone does. My, my guys are used to having a five minute break, so. Yeah, mine. They'd expect one to be honest, so I'll, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping people can just calm down a little bit, you know, catch a break after qualifying and. Uh, it was a cracking qualifying. Get What's your predictions for the race? Because you've obviously got there's a few towards the back that are on different strategies. I know it might be a one stop, but might be able to push you. They can stick with the uh, the soft, the super soft runners. Oh, as IRL Schumacher's readied up, unfortunately, that's going to be a bit of a pain for some of the drivers that they're now going to have to yeah, sort of. They've got 20 seconds now. Over, yeah. so looking through the grid, I think I think it's going to be difficult for anyone in the top four really to, you know, pose a chat top five really to pose a challenge. I think there's. I think that lap from Rooney's, uh, it's a very quick one, but it's shown that in some of his races he can struggle through the first couple of, you know, first couple of laps, get settled in. And uh, I, think, I think it's going to be between one of the top three there. I think it's going to be Rooney, Clone or Rewind really. And if I'm going to have to pick a top three, I'm going to go with Clone, Rewind and Rooney to finish off the uh, top three. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry Matt, uh, just give me two seconds. Uh, I think it's going to be tough keep up with Rooney's pace, but you and my guys um, got a, a lot of faith in. I think Stewie will be quite good up when it comes to overtaking. He's very, very quick. Uh, you've got Schumacher and Silver Surfer coming from quite far back. Kezak going is not the slowest, so in terms of my guys, I think we're, we're in pretty good stead here. Yeah, definitely. I've definitely used the same with the drivers near the, uh, near the... No worries. <laughs> Definitely with the drivers near the back of the grid there on different strategies. I definitely think it's going to pose for a very interesting race here. Excuse me. I'm going to have a look, see if it's all out tyres. What oh, tyres aren't. Here we go. Uh, IRL Schumacher interestingly going for the medium tyres. Same with Silver Surfer in P11 and P12. So that'll be interesting to see how they get on in the start of the race. We've got everyone else outside the P10 not on the super soft tyres, so they're definitely going to try and extend their stint. Everyone, obviously, everyone inside the top 10 who started on the supers is going to have to you know, start the race and qualified on the supers and have to start on the supers. I definitely yeah, think uh, those uh, be a very, different very strategies. Close battle. I, de I would agree, I definitely would agree. I'm hoping obviously the game can, you know, fix up for when we need it to and yeah. there's going to be no lag give and good, no uh, incidents. Give it a good name for itself here. It's not just the yeah, two exactly. leagues that are battling, it's the game as well. So we are now watching everyone come onto the grid and we are ready. I'm going to get on board with the front part of the grid here. And we'll sit on rewind, see how the other grid gets on from there. Interesting to see some of the uh, fuel amounts that people have stuck in, see what their sort of, their sort of strategies are. Here we are now, we're going to go on board with the front of the grid clone troop here as we are ready with five lights. And it's lights out and away we go and it looks oh, like really a ones. great start from Rooney and Williams with a great start there. That's V Stewie's going to be up, hopefully up to P2 there from the start if he can get down the, the inside. Close. As they all bundle oh, there's three wide. Ball. There's a bit of contact. I did see a bit of front wing there. Off looks like the Mercedes. I think that's clone. They're still three wide. Oh, right, one of them backs Oh, there's a bit of bumping and barging. I think they've just about got away with rewind. it. Rewind. I think rewind was. We're going to move down the rest of the out of that bit. grid. There's a, there's a few battles going. Oh, oh there's a gone driver off. off in the background there. Oh, oh. It's contact. It's better to slam me. I think he's just caught the back of outgoing. I'm not quite sure. What happened there? I think he was in contact. We've got Jamie's also crashed into the side of the wall. Not sure what happened there either, unfortunately. But uh, it's unfortunate. I'm not quite sure yeah, what to think of that, of really. Rooney, oops. Oh, troops just got past Rooney and Zelch is all over the back of Stewie now. 
Blows in the gap. Ginger Ninja Summit Circle. Yeah. Ginger Ninja Match jumped up to 7. Jotter's jumped up right up to 11th. Imps had a pretty good start from the 16th to 12th there. Oh, someone's gone off it. IRL Schumacher's lost it in the background. Oh dear, he's just run run off at the final part of the Ascari section there, straight to the gravel. A bit unfortunate for him. Julian's but, uh, going side by side. Yeah. 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 Had a really good battle there. Pulls off into the lead. It's gonna he's gonna pull out of the slipstream soon in his LG. Doesn't right, definitely been a Matty, good start from Rooney. I'll say it now, me and Matty do apologise to people that are watching the stream. If we are butchering other leagues' names we don't know, so Yes. <laughs> we've corrected definitely. each other as much as we could before we started. Yeah, we're, we're, we're hoping to get, get it by the end of the race. Yeah, hopefully all the names are sorted. But I did think I saw uh Besata Slammy did actually leave the session. I'm not quite sure if that was uh yeah. if he got back in or not. But uh uh, dive. Get, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's 7 versus 10 in it, so... Oh, some people take some very aggressive lines at the start of this race, just trying to really... Oh, that's a bit of lag, sorry. <laughs> and just see, all the way down yeah, the field, there's a Ferrari's really gone off in the background there. Silver Surfer, by the look of it. Everyone's Silver Surfer, yeah. past him. Well, I knew you On guys were fast, but I didn't think they were this fast. Oh, who's gone off in the background then? That's the force injury of Darlow. He seems to be struggling at the start of this race. A few. Jordan and Darlow, well, apart from you guys close mistake, together. Had a good start with. And the closest oh, battle still is between Stewie and Zelchi in this lap. I, I We've think got Imp just gone round the outside of Darlow's made a very good move. The clone troop catching up to the back of Rooney there for the lead. He is. He is, he's very quick at the start of the race. Oh, Rewind. And, uh, I think he's going to put... Oh, Rewind's basically pushing electric. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Ninja Max. Drawn up to P8 on the softs at a very good start. Have a quick look to see uh, what we're looking at with position changes. See who's made a good start. As I've said about Jordan, he's made seven positions off the start. Whereas BPR Imp has made six. So it's... Uh, very good starts for those two on their different strategies. Could definitely help them near the end of the race. But unfortunately, uh, Jameen has lost 10 positions off the start. So as I said, we're not sure what's happened there. We might get some, yeah, uh, some news on that one after the race. It was one of the two cars that was spun round on the first corner. I don't know what's happened. Uh, yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. He's got Stewie's apparently a 10th behind I... at the moment. He is. I think... I think there's a few people that are saying there was a bit of squeezing going on the first corner, but you can understand it's Italy, that, that first corner is very tight. And it with is, everyone it's very being difficult. so it's fast, one of the it's always going to gonna boom, 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 boom. It's always one of them you have to oh, yeah, move we've, back out of it or you don't. As a, with 17 drivers Stewart, going into we turn that. one. He is, but I think he's going to have a run back on him. He's going to the outside of turn one. So he can stick around the outside and go to the Looks inside like of turn two. He's made back it stick. That's a great two. move. Oh, was just coming back at him. Had a good Went run. Around, he's yeah. in lean mixture instantly, right. interestingly. So I think he's just going to stick behind him at this point. We've got battles all the way down the field here. Jot has just got past Imp and he's got Darlow all over the back right, of him. Yeah, Darlow right on the back of him, isn't he? I'm going for me, I think. Imp's running a much... Uh, Lower downforce than Dala by the looks of things. He's able to just pull away there. I think the closest battle now is we've got Ginger Ninja Max on the back of Jordan here, obviously on the different strategies. He may be holding him up at this point, but he's just going to be looking to try and stretch him as long as he can and make a race out of it. Oh, Imp's going side by side with Jota now. He is, yeah, on the outside. I think it's a very ambitious move if he can manage it. No, he's going to sit in behind and try and get him on a better place there I think. Oh he's lost a car. He's unfortunately lost a car there. He's managed to keep it out of a wall so he'll be able to continue Zouchi on. Zouchi and Stewie Just are still jostling for position. Right on each other. We've also got clone troop. He's about seven tenths back at the moment. So we don't need to worry about that one. But we'll be interested to see if Zelchi has a go here or if he thinks about leaving it for another well, moment. I will apologise if you hear eating my food arrive later than it should have done. So I apologise. <laughs> Silver Surfer there just get a stop and go penalty for overtaking, or illegally overtaking, I should say. I'm not sure what's happened there. Oh, 
got Barlow and Oh, is that BPR in? Is that outgoing as well? They've collided at different places. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Outgoings ended up in a wall out, out of a Scari. Oh. And Imps ended oh, up in a wall. The surf has gone as well. We out of the we knew there was gonna be final a few. corner. We knew there was going to be a few. A few. Um, yeah, collisions. That's very interesting. To... Oh, there's a Mercedes going wide. He's just crashed into the wall, so I'm not sure what's going on there. We do apologise if that is... Well, he has just... He has... Yeah. Got a good battle here. Trex and Rewind still having a really good battle here. Oh, he's going to pull out. He's not got his, not got his rear wing going. Oh. Is that... Uh, Get it in standard mix as well. So. Has he got a problem with his rear wing? Unless there's a yellow flag out somewhere. A good battle here from P7. It seems that George, George's got a bit of a trade at the moment. Dalchi's pulled away from Stewie, so... Has. I'm not sure if that was a mistake, because they were very close to the end no, of chaos. that lap. Oh, it's gone. As I say, we were looking to it. I mean, as, as, as yeah. I say, from we... both sides, we know. Oh. Oh, Jordan's left the session as a, that's one of our drivers, unfortunately, or JXJF on Vettel. I'm not sure what's happened there. Yeah. At the minute, it's um, 8, eight six on the cars that are still going, so we'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah, he's, he's doing very well there, Jordan. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. He's, I think he's just, just, just desynced him under. Side by side racing here from Dilo and Ginger Dinder Max. He's going to have a run down the left hand side just outside of Ascari now. He's going to do well to be able to hold this round the outside of Parabolica. He backs off and leaves in the room. He think he wants yeah. DRS. It's very clever from Dilo if he can make it work. Rewan's. He has uh, got a run. He's down the inside now. Rewan's got his uh, DRS wide open. He's and he's got him. Ginger Dinder Max into the pits. I think he had front wing damage. He does. He's missing yeah, part of his yeah, front wing, so we're not quite sure what's happened there. I think there. that was in the first, the first lap. Ah, oh, because he's in the first lap. Yeah, so he's done well to manage to take it six laps, but obviously he's just found that the, uh, it's costing him too much time there. So obviously he had a very good qualifying. He was up in P5, wasn't he? I think he was up near the top. Who? Uh, Ginger Nidamak, I think, if that's correct. Ginger yeah, he was, was up near no, the top. He was, um... This says he's sort of three position changes from the start, so that's oh, he's P8. P8 so yeah. yeah, it was a uh, good, 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 uh, good, 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 good. I'm struggling to speak here. Good qualifying <laughs> from him, but obviously just a bit. Right, we'll see. there's a few people made stops towards the back of the grid. Everyone from tenth down has made a stop, and from seventh down, there's no su there's no super softs at all. Just all softs, yes, medium. So I, pre I presume with Gemin and Mullen having to pit so early that they're trying to go all the way, all the way to the end of the race on them tyres. On the medium tyres, yeah, definitely. Zelchi definitely seems to have pulled away from Stewie now. That gap's expanded quite largely. I'm yeah. hoping there's no Can damage Rooney's, or anything. Rooney's that's now... got a... Um, oh, as Schumacher goes past Vettel. I think Rooney's... Yeah, um, I think we'll give Rooney a bit of, um, bit of stream time because he did qualify a pole and he's still... He's not really had more, it's because he's been out front on his own. Yeah, he's obviously closed, closed, uh, closed in the gap at one point, and it was uh, very close. It was, it was about six tenths, wasn't it, at one point, and now uh, obviously he's just stretched his legs a little bit and he's just trying to get himself a bit of breathing room. Maybe the clone's just backed off slightly just to cool his tyres down and try and prevent losing too much tyre wear. Rewind is, I think, I don't think he's getting held up by electrics, but it's not doing anything much could be behind him. It's not, yeah, that exactly. That's the closest battle on the, on the um, one at the minute. I mean, as we run down the order on lap eight, Rooney is P, it's P1 after starting on pole. Clone troops moved up to P2. Zolch is P3. Stewie in P4. Trey Electrics is in P5. Rewind, who we are on board with now, in P6. 
Darlow P7, uh, Schumacher P8, Jotter's in P9, Vettel who's not in his car is P10, and uh, Max Mullen, Jemin round out the top 13 as oh, oh we've got a move rewind Trex Trex and is Trex. still having a very good battle here on my screen he lags forward there that's why I someone's into the pit V Stewie's into the pit so it may have been damaged what we were talking about he's gone for an early stop here I'll, 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 I'll sit just on see if he changes his nose no, no he change. hasn't so it must have just He's just gone for the stop, so that's on the medium tyres. It'll be interesting to see where he comes out. I think it's going to be gone in between Jotter and Schumacher here. And it is indeed, so he's going to come out in P8. Hopefully you can see where he can push Rewind. from there. He's still, see if he'll... still the closest battle as Zalci is catching troops for P2 now. He is, it's now 1.7, so he's definitely... He's picked up another gear, hasn't he? Now he's he's got clear of Stewie. That he's had the battle there, and he's just now pushing on. And the first DRS just trying to make up for the uh, lost time he had on the uh, when he had in the early. Well, quite frankly, I, I think he did quite well not to spin it. I think it's I won't say squeeze, but it was the it was the middle car when it was like like when yeah. you put two pieces of bread together with a, a, a salami, it's just going to slip out of the middle in. <laughs> One way to put it when you're on a racing track, yeah, definitely. But it was. I can't think of anything else. Together and what what else <laughs> just slips out. We'll be interested to see. So obviously in that turn when we saw a bit of carbon fiber oh, a lot come closer off on the front wings. Of he's a lot closer now. Was. It looks like he's going to make. Oh, he's pitted. We went into the pit, so he might be trying to cover off Stewie. Maybe. I'm not sure quite how far Stewie was back. I know he was in front of them, wasn't he? So maybe we was just thinking he's going to try and get the undercut on Trex. But Darlin out to P5 on the softs. Rewind's just coming out of the pits now, but he will get jumped by Schumacher and Stewie, so he's gone for the medium tyres. We've got Zelchi now a second behind Clone, so he's really pushing now. And Clone has definitely dropped off over the last couple of laps. He's now almost four seconds down on our leader. Rewind's come out behind Stewie, so he's got a clean track yeah, now. Oh, there's so contact push. here, Rewind and Jota. Had contact there through turn two. Seems to be letting each other through and telling to carry on. There's a bit of weave in there as a thank you. I presume there must have been a little bit of contact there and a miscommunication there. He is just weaving there again just to make sure that Jota acknowledged. I think now the closest battle on track we've got at the moment is obviously Jota there behind the rewind. But uh, Zelchi now. Second and a half behind Clone, he's definitely being dropped. I expect him to see coming into the pits this lap, and he does not. And that's quite oh, surprising for you. Yeah, obviously, out, just staying round, isn't he? I mean, you've got uh, is your, your driver's got the top five positions at the minute, but mine are looking for the undercourt. Uh, they are definitely. I think Stewie's I mean, going to get past. Um, I think you got to watch out for the guys that pitted early as well, with, like the likes of Jemin and. Uh, but Mullen, they're not far off the people that are pitted. But Trex now into the pits, he's gone for the medium tyres. I'd be interested to see where he comes out in comparison to Rewind. Rewind's Trex to be quite close. Corner. close. Yeah, and we've got line now. Trex gonna now looking to hopefully... S I think I Rewind's going to have him here. Yeah, it's going to be close. It's going to be yeah. into the first corner. No, Trex keeps it, he keeps the position. And he's run it. wide. He's on the faster tyre as well. The undercut, there's a bit of Ooh. contact there. Oh, I think it was just a tap of sort of front wing on rear wing there. Watched it for Trek, so I think that's quite a difficult one to call on that, just with the, uh, the contact model. It's just uh, it's very different. So we've now got uh, ESR Zelchi, who's now within nine tenths again of Clone. And he's close yeah. dropping oh, about second Jota lap is going here. side by side with Rewan. I don't know if he's just going to let him go. On the faster tyre here, I would have thought it probably would have been best for his race. Obviously, Rewind just came out of the pits, hasn't he? So, uh, he came out of oh, the pits the lap before Trex. In, troop is in, and Rooney's in, both of them are in. Both the come in. are in. Lewis has decided to stay out. Yeah. Rooney both and Clone both went for the soft tyres, interestingly, only a lap later. Where are they going to come out? Is Trex Stewart going to be mediums? anywhere near the top two? Has he made time on him? It'd be interesting to see if Zui's been held up at all by the dirty air of Schumacher. Even being a second behind can be quite costly. 
Oh no. He's got the phone coming out now. I think he's clear. He is clear. Now got Trex four tenths behind them. We've got an interesting battle here from seventh to ninth. Rewind Two holding Maka. up. I would, so I would say really holding got, up got Jota. Got three that I have not pitted yet, which is Elchi, Dalu and Schumacher. Schumacher started on the medium, remember. Interesting to see how far he can take those ones and see what sort got of strategy he'll go from. will go for the ever. super softs. Three car battle. Looking out, it looks like Rewind's finally got yep. uh, electrics behind him instead of the other way around. He has, yeah. Obviously, with that contact through the turn one and two, it's going to be a cost him. But hopefully, I think with the one lap fresher tyres, there's always an interesting slide there from Rewind, and I think Jota followed him. And uh, obviously, I think Jota's holding him up here a little bit. It's just he's come out on the fresh tyres and hasn't really got the, uh, the pace at the moment. He was going tires. past um, Schumacher. Up. He's letting through there. As obviously sees that it's going to be more beneficial for him to do so. As we've now got Zelchi into the pits. I presume to see the soft tyres here. And he has indeed. He has gone on the soft. So I think this will put him out. I'll be interested to see where this puts him out in comparison to Stewie. Oh, Stewie only being three and a half seconds off. Really bad exit out of Ascari there. Lone. He has in He's gone down the inside. Train. But Jota will have the RS. Zelchi. How close is this going to be between Stewie and Schumacher? He's going to be in front still, but he's managed Stewie's to hold it definitely just about. Close gap. I think he definitely has closed the gap. But I do you think that Schumacher there has held up Stewie enough, even by just being a second behind him? Stewie being a second behind him for a couple of laps, that's held him up enough to prevent uh, him from maybe, getting in front of but Zelchi. You got to you got to look. Zelchi was he was pulling three seconds on Stewie, so I think Stewie would be glad just to see him right in front. Yeah, definitely. It was interestingly enough. I'm not sure if you've got the same thing on my, on your screen, but Zelchi's showing me he's on the super soft tyres. The game's telling me he's on the softs. I presume he's on the softs, but I'm not quite sure. If he's gone for the super soft, he's going to have to pit again. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Uh, who was that? Sorry, Zelchi. Yes, I'm Zelchi. He's got me on the super softs on in game, but tyre selection right. says he's on the softs. Yeah, I think it's just the electric does it a few times. It's got socks yeah, on my it's screen. As tracks and one of both get penalties at the same time. <laughs> They're taking each other's lines, <laughs> yeah. This battle's still here between these three. The clone yeah, now sets fast the with a 23-3. Yeah, them tyres have turned up for him, aren't they? Darlo still, still out in the lead. I think he's enjoying himself there. Trying to stay there as long as he can. Rewind it goes very wide. Looks like Jota's finally got his chance to go down the inside. He's, 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 he's going side by side. Well. See what he does. He's, uh, he's going to try and hold it. Oh, and oh, that's all a bit of contact here. Is this going to leave Trex with an opportunity? As he bounced up off the curb, it's going to leave him a bit of a. I think yeah, oh, Trex got a bit of lag the there. We've got Jin Jin's a. Ginger and Maxis is getting closer to these four now with them, these three, sorry, with them battling. I'd be interested to see what he can do. He's on the soft tyres. I'm not quite sure what lap he pitted. As to how, how long he'd be able to take those tyres. He might be going for another stuff onto the supers towards the end of the race. But uh, we've got Irel Schumacher now, and he's second behind Stewie. I'd be interested to see. Obviously, he's, he's started the the race on those tyres and I think he's done quite well to not get dropped especially as they're now 15 lap old tyres and he's you know he's not uh, getting are, dropped away too quickly uh, about I think he might come into the pits this lap yeah I am yeah just his, uh, his pace got, has been uh, think, very though, good on those uh, Darlo lap hasn't medium. pitted either Schumacher he hasn't that is very true um, Schumacher had a, had a bit of contact in the first corner so he's still I think he's got a little bit of damage I might hinder his race a little bit. Lechik's trying to go for a move. Rewind was weaving a little bit there. I'm not quite sure if that was uh, necessarily happening there. Or was that just a little bit of lag there? It looked like he tried to cover the inside, then went back to the outside again. It was interesting, but obviously uh, Trex decided to stick behind him. But as I said, we've got uh, Jinjinja Max looking behind, but Trex all over the back of Rewind here. Obviously, he's decided to let Jota through, who was on the quicker tyres. 
He seems to be pulling away now, but uh, Rewind definitely seems to be holding them up here. Let's see if we follow them through the two Lesmos here, if Trex can get a run on the second DRS zone. This seems to be the closest battle we've got on track at the moment. And see yeah, when Darlow pits we are, as well. Yeah, as we we're going on to lap 16, Darlow pits from the lead. Rooney will take first again. Clone Troops is in P2. He's not pitted yet. He's not, he's not pitted P3. yet. I thought he did, but he hasn't. Or P4 he's then, sorry. Yeah. Stewie P5, Schumacher P6, Jota P7, Rewind P8 as they just get through uh, Vettel's ghosted car there. Max ghosted Clone car, yeah. P10. Mullen, Jemin, are there, any, are there any others still in the race at the minute? I think his track's going to go for a move here as Rewind no longer has DRS from the car in front of him. Covers the f inside quite well there, very defensive. Max, I think Rewind's dropping move. him back to Max as well, isn't he? He is, yeah, he definitely is, especially with Max on the quicker tyre behind Rooney. him. Less than He's going to go for a run on that um, outside. Darlow now, Darlow's tyres must be hitting the cliff now. They're definitely dropping off now. As Schumacher has caught the wall there off the first Lesmo, there, he's definitely going to pick up some front wing from that. It looked like a heavy hit. Oh, rewind. As Trex is now at passed. the inside of rewind. He's made the move. Maybe that was a mistake off the chicane there. It's allowed him to do that, and it's going to be interesting to see now if rewind can get him now on this DRS. I don't know. I think if rewind if will let Max. I think he's letting Max go. He's letting him go. He is definitely yeah. So he's obviously thought that his time there of holding him up has done Max a favour there. The Dalo has now as he pitted, he has indeed, Dalo has come into the pits. He's managed 17 laps on those tyres, I think it's very impressive, and he should go onto the soup as I would have thought. I presume Schumacher will be pitting as well, after, yep, Schumacher he's, is in. He is indeed, he's following him in. So this is where we're going to get our, uh, our full rundown of whether the, uh, where the grid's going to be after all the pit stops. I think stops. Dalo's going to be behind all these, he's going to be behind the rewind, he might even be behind Mullen as well. Uh, he's going to come out alongside Jota, actually. He's come out on the super softs. They're going to go side by side into turn one. Jota's covered the inside for turn two. He's going to go around the outside of him. On the fresher tyres, should just be able to breeze past him on traction. And he does indeed. He's done, he timed that to perfection. I, I think just right to make sure that... The, uh, right up the bottom of Troop now. Both mistakes. He is now, yeah, moves. definitely. Darlow's probably now got to do his best um, job as he can to get just, away from just Jota. Just an idea for the, um, for the end of the race. Are we inviting your top three and my top three? Just have a little chat at the end. We can just do that or we can do the top three out of uh, just all together, the top three, if you know what I mean? Or we can do, yeah, yeah. I, like I, said, I think your, one, your three are going to be top three, that's what I said. Just to get both yeah, cross team, yeah. you know what I mean? Both cross league yeah, I'm happy uh, to do comments that. on yeah, the race. If I can get them all in. Yeah, definitely. We have to have a chat to see what... You know, what went wrong is Jota picks up a penalty now. He oh, seems to have oh. dropped, he's dropped back off Darlow rather quickly and is now uh, all over, uh, Trek's got all over the back of him. I wonder if Jota's tyres are now just giving up the ghost. Obviously, he's pitted a lot earlier than these guys, obviously, because of uh, issues at the start of the race. As Trek's now going to go around the outside if he can hold it. That's going to be a brilliant move he can manage it. I think he's going to have DRS. Jota pulls into the pit, so it makes his life a bit easier. Did Trex pick up DRS? He didn't. So now he's going to have to be worrying about the cars behind him. So I think Dala's going to be able to pull Jota away. Jota has pitted again. He has, and so is Jameen. Jameen's coming to the pits as well. I think they'll both go on to the super softs and maybe just push the fastest lap and maybe pick up a couple of points towards the end there. And Schumacher now comes into the points on the super soft tyres. Uh, he's going We've got to about a 12-second gap to Mulan. I'm going to be interested to see if I think Zelchi, Zelchi is the pushing Troop now. He is, yes, he definitely is. They're within half a second now. We've still got battles all the way across the field. Trex Electric's now got a bit of a train again behind. Uh, he's got Jinjin Jin Max there as well as uh, we've got their Rewind there, who's uh, s slowly being dropped just by these two, obviously just showing with the... Uh, on the slow tyres. Oh, Zelchi nearly lost it completely on the last corner there. Got a bit wide and it dra it's completely dragged him off. I think just the dirty air effect through the final corners make it difficult. So we've got a Max yellow flag. Injured to Max is retired. 
I'd be interested to see what's happening there. I was on board with that before it happened, but I didn't actually see it. I've just come on board to see his car on the road. I'd be interested if he's it. lost it off the inside curb of the final part of I the just, Ascari or he's caught I in the just, gravel. Um, I just viewed him as he was spinning, so I missed it as well, but yeah. Very unfortunate for Gingy Lamaxo, who was having a good battle there with Trex and Rewind. I'm hoping that there was nothing lag related there that's affected that. We have had a couple of issues in this Grand Prix with a bit of lag. Yeah, also that's... interesting to notice that uh, Clone Troop's also starting to bring in Rooney 2003 again. But that gap only at one and a half seconds now, 1.7 seconds. Top three only covered by two and a bit it's seconds. It's going to make this very interesting <laughs> towards the end of the race. These three will be battling for the lead. Uh, for the, uh, for the here we go. As Seltzer's got a very good run on Clone Troop here for the final part of the uh, Ascari section there. He might sit behind him, he is. He's going to sit behind him for DRS. And I think this is going to be one of his best opportunities to overtake here. But yeah, not pulling him out this time. So he's going to, he's going to have his chance now. Sticks it into Rich. He's got enough fuel. Both of them have got enough fuel for now. But here we go. Yes, yeah, so Arzelchi sticking into the slipstream. Will he go for the move down the inside? No, he decides to stick in behind for now. But maybe think about it later towards the end of the race. It'll be interesting to see Ooh, how long he'll be able to stick behind him before his... There. How far he can stick behind him before, obviously, his tyres go off too much just because of sitting behind in the hot air of the car in front. But they are definitely both closing in on uh, Rune 2003. Obviously, he had a gap of about four seconds as they came out the pits. He's uh, not sure if Rune's just sort of... Uh, Calming it down for a little bit, controlling the race and then pushing towards the end. But he's definitely been caught a little bit. Alo's definitely managed to pull away from Trex Electrics now on those super soft tyres. I don't think he'll manage to get to Stewie before the end of the race. Got seven and a half laps to go at 10 seconds. I think that's going to be too much to ask. Even with the two, two compound advantage, I think his tyres will go off too much before the end. So far, I think the close battle we've got is for third, uh, for second place here. Going Troop and Zeltu. Once again, that dirty air just dragging him out as Rooney is being caught still. As I said, it's now only 1.4 seconds, so it's going to get to the point now where Zeltu needs to think about a move before Clone Troop can get into the DRS because it's going to affect him and it's going to prevent him from being able to overtake as Clone is getting a lot closer now as these two are really pushing. Yeah, these two are. Um... Well, uh, the uh, all these three, sorry, the f your fastest driver. So we expected these these to be battling it out. Stewie's putting it. Definitely expected Stewie. Himself. He has definitely, but I, I, I would have thought expect I would have expected him to be a little bit further up. I thought after his qualifying, he definitely stood a chance of maybe even the victory. Looking at you know his qualification, I, I think uh, just his run on the super soft was a. Unless he had damage, of course, oh, from that incident. Oh, Zelchi and Trooper but... side by side. Oh, Craig, that's happened very quickly now. As he's going to go down the inside into Ascari. I think Clone's going to let him have it. He is indeed. He's not wanted to make any mistakes now. But Clone's had a very good run through Ascari now. And he could go straight back for him here. Right on board with him. He's going to sit behind, I think, for now. And he's going to concentrate on maybe the DRS zone. But may give... Rune 2003, the breathing space he needed, as that gap's now gone up to two and a, two and a bit seconds now. Well, as I was saying with Stu, I thought after the uh, after the qualifying, I definitely expect him to be a bit closer, but he has done well to, to keep his P4. Yeah, he's, he's had a very good, very good battle. Like, like I said from the start, this was all 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 done in at, in Man and Matty's friendship. We just wanted to. Who's, who's the quickest between each other? And um, yeah, I think both sides have done a pretty good account for themselves. After it was a late call on the track that was made. So it was, yeah. It was a very late call. Definitely surprised a couple of people, and I think that may be why we've had uh, quite a few retirements there. Obviously, just people not getting into the groove due to lack of practice. Obviously, there was which a is, few issues with track selection. Part, parcel of the. Uh, of the uh, battle. You gotta get it is, yeah, tracks, definitely. Straight away. It makes With the battles look a lot more interesting. Yeah, it does. 
With five laps to go, Rooney is still your leader. Result, she's P2. Oh, is he is closing the gap completely. He's just picked up troops. a penalty though, interestingly. I'm not sure troops. if anyone else has had one. Yeah, troops there. Loads of people have had some, mate. Troops in P3, <laughs> Stewie P4, just dropping off things because he's on a slower tyre. Darlo appears in P5, he's on the faster tyre though, he's on the, he's on the super softs. Trex Electric's in P6, finally pulled away from Rewind. His teammate Modern is P8, Schumacher is 9th, and Jota in P10. The last of the running is Gemin, who personally I thought would be towards the front, but after his collision in the, on the first lap, not what she can do. But Zalci, oh, he's nearly a second off Rooney already. He is, he's really pulled in that gap over the last couple of laps. He's really putting the hammer down and wants to put the pressure on Rooney for the end of the race. Definitely think, as we're watching Gemin now, he's only a second behind Jotter. I'll be interested to see if Jotter decides to let him through. I'm uh, not quite sure if Jotter's pitted because I don't think he was on the super softs. He wasn't, was he? Because he did pit during the. Uh, when he was battling with tracks, but he's. Uh, Jimmy's definitely pulled him in. It could be a good yeah, battle for the final points paying position there. Well, she's, he's going to be DRS run down the start finish straight. Rooney's led the whole race. He's going to lose it on the last hurdle. Gemin is close on Jota. Is that what you were just saying? It was definitely, yeah. He's definitely close in that gap, hasn't last, he? he could... Fighting for the last point. Going to be close. So saying. Don't think Dial is going to have enough, but he has been pulling in that gap on those super soft tyres as he has actually unfortunately picked up a penalty there. But uh, it was about 11 seconds a couple of laps ago. I think it's going to be too much to ask for, really, unless penalties are have too much too much of an effect. But we now have Zelchi eight tenths behind Rooney 2003 at the front here. Clone's definitely been dropped by these two, who have really you know picked up their pace over the last couple of laps and. Uh, I do think that Zelchi is going to be the man to watch for the end of this race if he's going to be able to pull this pull this off. Starting from P5 to be able to pick up the victory would be very impressive. Yeah, just sticking on Gemin at the minute as um, he's right on the uh, gearbox of Jota here. I think he's going to wait for the uh, to start for the straight here. These two will battle for the last point. <laughs> they just will do it. It's in the future. <laughs> they will take it down to the wire. Oh. Uh, as 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 we do this, Dolch is is right on the gearbox of him, so all over I the think, back of him now. I think Germans. Oh, is there side by side? Jota's, Jota's, Jota's done well. The inside. Just done well. I think we need to move to Dolch quick because he's right on the back of Rooney. He is, and this could be where it counts through the dip, through the final corner. If he can get the exit right, which I think he has, he has he's indeed. Rooney's really had a problem. I think Rooney's let him through, to be honest. Has Rooney had an issue there? Not quite sure what's happened there. I'm not sure if maybe that was a bit of lag or something, but that may have just gifted ESL Zelchi the victory there. He definitely seemed to stop. I thought maybe punctured to start with, but he's just definitely Whoa. slowed coming out of the, uh, the final Zelchi corner there. the back end, swerving there. Yeah, he often does do that when he's running no track with a wheel, so it's uh, he's... Definitely, he's really trying to put the power down and so get away So he's having a now. workout halfway through the race. Then. Yes, he's definitely. Rooney really once again has oh, gone Rooney's AI. As clone troops now gone through, so I'm not sure what's happened to uh, Rooney 2003 there. He may be having issues of some sort. Well, maybe have talk about after the race. But uh, that's uh, the whole very race. unfortunate for him. It, exactly, the victory looked like it was it. his. And. A couple of mistakes there, or issues with the game, may have cost him. And Clone Troops got have been gifted a second, and DSL Zelchi gifted a first. He's gone off again now, as Rooney. So there's definitely some issue with the I car think them, here. Them tyres have, have just been, have just been ruined, haven't they? He's run their life. They took the risk, didn't they, with the, uh, with the soft tyre strategy? And he's uh, he's gone AI mode again. So I'll be interested to see here if he may pit and just. Consolidate on maybe fastest lap as he, he's as he is. He's coming into the pits. Oh, he's Whoa. not off. What happened he's there? Got, he's, it looked like the game was decided in. to let his to AI pit wants to pit, yeah. but he doesn't. This might cost him third if he carries on. It is. He's definitely really slowing up now, isn't he? We'll go back on board with Jermaine Jotter battles. That's still only at two tenths now. 
Coming up towards Ascari. These two giving us a bit of a battle towards the end of the race here with two laps to go. On board with Gemma. Oh, the A, I think he's got him. Oh, he's going to. Jot, Jot is not going to give it him easy. Whoops out the DRS, he's got to get him there. Jota will late break him. Uh, and Rooney's starting to catch back up to troops, so uh, might have just been a problem. There's a little torch, but it's a very tight part of the track. Jota's still in there. He's not giving this one up, is he? He's, uh, Jimmy, he's done all the hard work to catch him up, but it's, as they say around, especially on this game, that it's one thing to Every catch a person, it's another counts. one to overtake them. Every point counts. I don't know what's does indeed. Really, but he's, well, he's we'll be thrown, interested to talk to him after the race. He's just thrown He has. Away. He has indeed. He's, Darlow has now managed to get that gap down to 4.8 seconds behind Stewie on the quicker tyre. As I said, penalties could matter Last towards the end of this race. The race now. Zelchi made a few cracking overtakes because in P1, his teammate troops P2. Rooney has dropped back massively, we don't know why, in P3. Stewie, P4. Darlow on the hunt in P5. Trex is P6. Rewind has got Mullen closing the gap on him. In P7 and 8, Schumacher is 9th. Jota and Gemin still battling out for that final point. Will it, will, will it go down to in-game penalty? Oh, as Jota makes a mistake and Jeremy almost follows it, but he's surely going to have the run of him now. DRS, which way is he going to go, left or right? He goes right. Jota gives him the inside. He's still going to try and hold it around the outside and he's going to manage it. Yes, is it going to go well, side by side? He's going to have there the traction go. there and he has. Well played, Jim. That could be it. Well done. As we're now going to quickly go on board with our leader as he comes around the final corner. As the two Mercedes drivers are going to go across the line side by side here. Hand in hand in victory here. And who's going to be given the win on penalties? It's Claude Troop who's been given it. With uh, Zelchi oh, now jumped up third because of penalties. Rooney ended up only half a second off Clone with the penalties. As Darlow Stewie ended up only three and a half seconds off Stewie. Stewie with a great run for P4. Will he hold it with penalties? Does. It's a brilliant drive from V Stewie there. Darlow P5. As we're now waiting for Trex Electrics, who's uh, squirming his way to the finish. He crosses the line for P6. Rewind P7. ITFI Mulan jumps rewind due to penalties and ends up only three tenths behind Trex for P6. So he manages P7. Ariel Schumacher with P9. And we're going to watch Jamine, who finally got Jota coming onto the final lap there. And keeps onto it for the final points paying position. So there we are. What did you think of that race, Smithy? Well, it was very interesting. We did, from the start, we didn't underestimate you guys. We knew full well you were going to be quick. We just knew it. So, um, so yeah, I'll say. We expected you to beat us, um, but I didn't expect it to be such a uh, a close a close battle. There, there was a few few cracking battles between the leagues. There was both definitely. Leagues. I, yeah, some great battles across the board. There, so it just shows that you can race with anyone and anyone, and uh, that you know leagues can come and battle and have a great race. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm presuming we're going to have a few uh, instances to talk about with some of the drivers there. Hopefully we can get them on now. So we'll uh, try and get Clone, Rooney and Zelchi into the party. Um... So there we are, your, your final positions after penalties. Yes, there is a f there is a few there. Definitely, there's a couple of penalties. Clone, if you'd like to tick your box, please, you are our race winner. Mm. We'll be able to have a won. little chat, up a little chat up. with you. We have ESR Zelchi, and hopefully, we get Rooney in as well. 
and we'll be able to have a chat about that race. And we have indeed, if all of you could tick your box, please. We will be able to Don't chat know. about that race with... We'll have a chat about that one afterwards, Imp, and we'll just have a quick chat to our top three first of all. So, Rooney 2003 and P3. I'm going to have to... Oh, actually, no, it was P2, wasn't it, after uh, penalties there, if I can remember correctly. Uh, what yeah, happened towards the end there of the uh, the final couple of laps there? You, you looked like you had the victory in the bag after leading all of the race there. And I don't know if there was a couple of mistakes there on your part, but uh, around the final corner, your car just seemed to stop. So uh, what uh, seemed to happen there? If you could better give us a rundown of my, your race and how it went for my, you. My shifter um, stopped working on my wheel for a bit. So I had to keep like fiddling around with the spring in it to make it work. Uh, while I was like slowing down. So it, it would have been uh, okay. Right, but... Yeah, it's yeah. obviously unfortunate for you that you were you were comfortable in that race. I would have thought after the uh, start of the race there, and obviously it uh, mm -hmm. it dropped towards the end. Obviously with those problems, that is unfortunate. But uh, brilliant race from yourself, and well done. Congratulations. Uh, we've you. got uh, ESR Zelch as well. Great race from you. How did you find it? Yeah, yeah it was not too bad. First stint was a bit struggling on tyre wear after two laps on my quali lap. Struggled at the end, <laughs> about lap lap twelve on tire wear, but I had tremendous pace and tire good tire wear on the soft. Be able to bring in my yeah, mate at the end. Definitely had the pace. Just, yeah, it was very good to see. Unfortunately, uh... just got too many penalties. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's great it was... to see uh, the the two Mercedes coming across the line there, hand in hand. Obviously, yeah, after I a did want... great battle between you three there. It's obviously going to be good to see. Hopefully, in uh, URL once uh, you finish with AOR, but it's uh, great to see that uh, you were doing that. And obviously, we're uh, with Clone Troop. Uh, congratulations on your race as well. How did you find it? Um, I was slow as crap, but uh, <laughs> yeah, Zelda should have won that. Well, you know, it was a good race, but don't know whether I should say it or not. But I'm not going to say it because a bit of a knob need to say it. But um, Zelda should have won. And yeah, that, and really, yeah, yeah, you probably should have won as well. <laughs> it's like mm. two people should have won. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations well, yeah. to you three. I'll hand over to Smithy so we can have a chat to a couple yeah. of his drivers quickly. Um, like I say, I want to congratulate your the top three there. We we knew you lot were going to be fast, so I just want to say, wow, just just wow on your on your pure pace is. is Sometimes it's unbelievable how quick some of you guys go. But, yeah, I'll, I'll jump to our top, our highest three. We were always going to do it and uh, talk about each other's races. So, Stewie, unfortunately not actually on the podium, but still my highest driver. So how did you how did you feel the race went on your behalf and how do you think the UCL, you, UCL, sorry, you are out, I'll get it right, did... On behalf of the race as well. Yeah, you had a you had a quite a, a a good battle with, which should have been the winner of the race, Zouchi. You kept him behind for a few laps. Uh, what was what was going through your head with him? He was he was pouting your gearbox. Oh. For yeah well you, once again for uh grl you've 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 put in a good shift for us i mean we always knew these were going to be fast but fourth i'll take fourth and we, it was pretty clean from our lot uh we'll jump to rewind now currently my championship leader uh, had a had a tough race, stuck behind 
tracks for a very long time. Uh, mm -hmm. A few, a few connection issues, but that's just Code Masters. So describe your race for us, Rewind. Uh, it was relatively like easy race apart from the very first lap. That was a bit of a mess, and then after that, I just kept my time management up and just try to keep consistent. Really, nothing else. Yeah, after the first corner, we did see you go side by side with Stewie, and I think it was Troop. You got you got three yeah. wide from the first corner to the third. Are we seeing you back yeah. off? Did you get any damage off that, or was nah, it just? No well, you did just you did well to keep it on the track because you was you was pinballing off both yeah. of them. It was very tight. <laughs> uh, I'll jump to uh, my surprise package here, yeah? Mullen. Out of all the guys that was there, I, I wouldn't have thought you'd have finished third for us, but congratulations. Um, um, as, as you know, you've been, been in my league from the start. Uh, you've come up against a very strong league. How was your race and how would you compare yourself to these, these URL drivers? Well, it was, um, it was a struggle. And have you ticked the box before, a... I, before I bring it up? I don't want to have, yeah, have yeah. them streaming. You both haven't ticked the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've technical the box. difficulties. Oh, good lad. <laughs> um, it was a struggle for me. Um, if you t look at the replay, in the yeah, we see first corner, the first second corner, third corner. It was a, yeah, it was it's a always going to be the case in Italy. We said on the stream, it's one of them. The first corner is so tight, you're never going to get yeah. twenty of the fastest drivers in the game piling into that corner. It's going to be. It wasn't a shambles, but it was as clean as it could have been. Yeah, I was just drivers. sandwiched in the centre on uh, turn one, turn two also. Uh, managed to get no damage and keep it clean, and then I think it come up to turn four, and I don't think Geminin saw me, and he just turned into me. Wing come off, uh, went into uh -huh. the pits, put the medium on, stayed on the medium for 26 laps all the way till the end. Um, pretty consistent times. Uh, I was catching rewind and the one that was in front of him, but it was just difficult after 20, yeah. 26 laps on them tyres. It was a uh, it was a good race on behalf of both divisions. I I, I can say I've, I'm losing yeah. the will to speak yeah, now. I'm struggling front. at the minute. Yeah, like I say, <laughs> they are very fast. We 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 like I say again. We we expect to. Um, to have a tough race today with you guys, even though they only turned up with seven. Questionable. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Blame I'll, my I'll, late I'll... management. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We, there was a... F <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I've got a lot of respect for Matty, man. But, yeah. Um, yeah, if you want to finish off the streams, then Matty, just a few last words. Yes, yeah, so... Uh... Just wanted to thank everyone for taking part. Obviously, it was competitive, but we wanted it to more be fun than anything. We didn't want to, you know, get too much of a rivalry out of it. We just wanted to, you know, as a, as Smithy said in the stream a couple of times, me and him have gone a long way back through all different leagues. So we just wanted to see what the two leagues together would be like and give it a go. And obviously, it's pulled out quite a good race. <laughs> yes, the league that shall not be named. But obviously, it's pulled out a good race and uh, some good performances from everyone. And... Uh, Thank everyone for watching. Thank everyone from our top three, from uh, GRL's top three, and uh, from part me soon, and maybe and coming else soon. Here. Just saying, part yeah, I'm a legend. May come soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 5v5. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> See you later.